Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to watch the English Chinese news of the Central TV channel of Luna Province. On February 5th, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính chaired a working session with the Commission for Management of State Capital and Enterprises and 19 affiliated corporations and controlling companies on production and business limitation in 2024. Summarizing the achievements and important and positive results of 2023, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính emphasized that people's trust in the party and state has been consolidated and strengthened. The material and spiritual life of the people has been improved. Among the achievements and results of the whole country in 2023 are the contributions of the committee and its affiliated corporations and controlling companies. Prime Minister said the tasks in 2024 are bigger than once in 2023 and must be better completed than 2023. If the government wants to complete a task better in 2023, each ministry, sectors, corporation, and controlling companies must do better. The conference raised key issues, tasks, and solutions for a common time and stated specific solutions in the short, medium, and long term associated with implementation responsibilities of specific agencies and units and a deadline for completion. At the same time, determine the roadmap for proposing amendments and supplements to relevant institutions, mechanisms, policies, and laws. In the first three weeks of January 2024, a total newly registered capital adjustment and capital contributions, share purchases, capital contributions from foreign investors reached more than 2.46 billion US dollars, an increase of more than 4% compared with the same period last year. Foreign investors have invested in 15 out of 21 economic sectors. In particular, the real estate business industry is with a total investment capital of more than 1.27 billion US dollar, double over the same period. Next, the processing and manufacturing industry, then the professional activities, science and technology, and wholesale retail industry. A trend for investment continues to be a great driving force for our country's economy. In the context of global economy facing many challenges, Vietnam's economy still received positive assessment of its prospects in 2024. Many international organizations and media agencies have given forecast growth rates with Vietnam's year at 6%. At high level for the region, Vietnam will likely become the fastest growing economy in South Asia in 2024 and 2025. To accelerate the public investment capital in 2024, Prime Minister has immediately assigned 1% public investment capital of 657,000 million dong just before December 31st, 2023. Up to this time, agencies have assigned to localities 632,000 billion dong which is equivalent to nearly 97%. Along with that, the government has focused on removing and solving bottlenecks and difficulties in each sector, each field, in each stage of part investment project and achieve encouraging results right from the beginning of the year. As a result, the experiment of public investment capital in January 2024 reaches 2.58%, which is equivalent to 16,900 billion dong and is higher than above relative and absolute numbers compared to the same period last year. In 2024, basically, public investment projects, especially important national projects and large projects, with regional linkage, spillover, have fundamentally completed procedures. This is a promise to promote and expect to achieve a high rate of public investment disbursement by 2024. On February 5th, the delegation led by Compre Nguyen Hồng Linh, member of Party Central Committee and Secretary of the Nau Provincial Committee, visited and worked that the officials, engineers, and workers working at construction sites of Long Thanh International Airport projects. Mr. Nguyen Tiến Việt, Deputy General Director of Long Thanh International Airport Project Management Board, gave a quick information about the construction situation at the construction site. Currently, taking advantage of favorable dry season weather, 
investors and constructors coordinate to organize a series of construction points. On behalf of the delegation, Secretary of Provincial Party Committee Nguyễn Hồng Linh highly appreciated the efforts of the investors and contractors for the project to ensure the required progress. This is a national key project, so it must not only ensure the progress but also meet the strict requirements of technique, art, architecture, and landscape for a project to be completed and put into operation in accordance with the requirements of the party, the government, as well as the aspiration of the people. The Secretary of Provincial Party Committee noted that the units coordinate to ensure absolute safety for the project during the construction process and at the same time plan to prepare for the construction of Phase 2. As part of a series of activities to celebrate the party and New Year Dragon in 2024, on February 5th at the Mnab Provincial Library, the Provincial Committee for Propaganda and Education in collaboration with the Department of Information and Communications, the Association of Journalists and Provincial Library opened the Yapton Spring Newspaper Association in Mnab Province. This year, Yathan Spring Press Association displays and introduces more than 300 publications of books, newspaper, magazines, newsletters, and Yathan Spring specialties of press agencies inside and outside the province. In addition, more than 60 typical news, political, economic, and social media images in 2023 are also displayed. Mr. Phạm Tấn Linh, Deputy Head of Propaganda Department of the Provincial Committee, Head of Organizing Committee of Yathan Spring Newspaper Association said, The content and form of this year's publications are more outstanding than previous years, both beautiful and good, and have more thoughtful investment. Although the number of news outlets has decreased, the quality has increased. This year, the Spring Newspaper Festival is held at Provincial Library, so there is a coordination between a newspaper association and a library Spring Newspaper reading room with diverse contents. Ms. Lam Vi Thuy from Yakim Kamil Thomas District said, Through publication, I can know the policy of system of provincial social economic development as well as see the joyful atmosphere of spring separation in all regions of the country. I feel very excited. This year, there are eight newsletters of seven departments and three county level newspapers of ten districts. Binghua and Lam Khan cities participated in Yapton Spring Newsletter and Newsletter Award 2024. At a ceremony, the organizing board awarded six prizes to the news of the department. In particular, the first prize went to the Science and Life Newsletter of the Union of Science and Technology Association of the Mnai Province.